On the 24th of this month, Google is getting rid of classic mode on Google+. Now, if you don't use Google+, uh, this may not be that big of a thing, but if you use the Google notification bell on any of the pages other than YouTube, this could affect you. Google has not updated that notification bell to the new Google Plus material design layout. They haven't changed anything about it. And because on Google Plus, if you go to the notifications page, you can get the same things, some of the same things that you would with the bell, it seems likely that they're going to get rid of the notifications bell. This is beyond on all the pages except for YouTube, which now has its own new crappy notifications setup. Now, Google has been working very hard at trying to separate all their products. For a while, they were trying to integrate them, but eventually they realized, well, wait, this isn't working, and then they separated them. Um, they've been trying to completely separate Google Plus from YouTube. And I've been saying for a while that when they drop classic mode, uh, they, there's going to be a number of changes. To me, not being able to keep track with, with specific conversations, like what you've been able to do in the past when it comes to the integration between Google Plus and YouTube, you know, being able to click that bell and being able to to reply in line with just a singular conversation. Them completely getting rid of that is not going to bode well for, for YouTube. Um, people are not going to want to go through what is necessary to have any sort of reasonable conversation on the platform. And if they get rid of reasonable discussion, they get rid of debate, they get rid of, you know, long comment sections by making them too hard to manage and too hard to keep up with, then there are going to be a number of people who will probably just disable the comment sections on their videos altogether. And if enough people do that, Google can say, well, not enough people except for trolls and harassers are using the comment section, so we're going to pull an apple and remove something completely and then declare it's some sort of innovation or something like that, right? <clears throat> and maybe they'll try to introduce at the same time some new features that make YouTube a little bit more like Netflix and Hulu. Of course, they might also just say, well, you know, we're going to we're, we're going to sell YouTube, I mean, but we don't know for sure. Some of this, again, as I've said in the past, some of this, again, depends on whether or not YouTube switches to the material design layout. And if it doesn't, and it has a new layout that is not material design, then they're probably going to try to sell. Because they're not going to want to put one of Google's... Uh, their, their main new look... They're not going to want to put that on a site they want to sell to others. They want it to have its own individual thing. So, we shall see. But, I think Google comments are probably going to take a dive. Particularly if you can't even keep up with comments on the new, uh, the new Google Plus notifications page. But we shall see. I think it's sad that <clears throat> with the new YouTube notification setup, they want you to either choose between, well, you know, do you want to keep up with people's, all of people's uploads, even on the uh, uh, subscriptions page, or do you want to keep up with comments? Choose. Videos or comments? Videos or comments? And people will choose videos. If it ends up being that difficult, people will end up choosing videos. So they can go to the subscriptions page and still see all of the videos that people are uploading. So, this has the potential to be far more reaching and far more 
of a problem for people on this platform than any changes they've made in the past. But we shall see.